Hello Scorpio! Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, welcome to your bonus love reading. This is Mary from Mary Starrett Corner. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective love message for your sign, so please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your personal situation. Let's take a look. Let's see. Okay. All right. So Scorpio, we are connecting in this reading for you with someone who understands that maybe the state of affairs in this connection, uh, it's, it's like they fault. Whatever here happened between the two of you, this person, because they're coming with the energy of consequences. And I feel this person did hear something. But at the same time, it feels like they are willing to take responsibility for their actions. They are perfectly aware that you might be a little bit annoyed with them. Because on your side here, we have respect and, and connections. What I am getting here, Scorpio, that you might be feeling that this person is not prioritizing this connection at the moment. It's like they are treating you as an option or the priority and you demand respect. You want more respect from this person. You want, you want them to be respectful towards this connection and um, to kind of direct their focus on this situation more. And those connections doesn't have to be, for instance, like a... Uh, this person, you might feel like this person is keeping their options open. For some of you, it might be, for instance, connection regarding their close related environment, meaning uh, relatives, friends, family. It's like they, they got involved in that situation. And I feel that you are not particularly okay with that. You don't feel comfortable with this and you want to change. Mutual energy, we have realization, which is a good energy because it feels that this person, it's completely understanding when, they co when you're coming from. And I feel that you, with this energy, it's like you kind of, you, you decided to make yourself very clear about the situation, you know? You're standing up for what you truly believe. It's right for you and this connection. We have overall energy and energy of chance. So it seems that this person wants to be given a chance to maybe fix this situation. Let's see, Scorpio. Let's see. Show me this person's energy and feelings towards Scorpio and this connection, please. five of pentacles death card we have also um king of pentacles mm, queen of wands the fool Children might be involved in that situation as well. Doesn't have to be the case. Hi, precious. I'm getting very strong feminine energy here, Scorpio. Older feminine energy. It can be like a mother figure or auntie, sister, grandmother or friend who is older than this person but we are we getting here very strong feminine energy uh, in a form of uh, third party but not in the form of third party as a third party i'm getting very strongly here um, as a romantic third party this is this is this is someone who 
kind of uh, got involved in that situation or who you feel that holds a significant influence over this person and it it is affecting this connection mm -hmm. because it's like this person is got in the middle a high precious can represent someone who, a feminine energy that it's much older and we have this queen of wands which in a love readings represents third party but third party can be it doesn't have to be again a person of romantic interest it can be for instance that at the time this person is prioritizing their career finances family relatives you know lifestyle lifestyle uh, habits third party can be anything and in this case it can be indeed a strong feminine energy um, but like a mother figure okay auntie for some of you it might be an ex if this person for instance an ex uh, with whom this person has children because children might be involved in that situation and it's like this ex it's, it's seriously kind of a <sighs> affecting this connection or hold a certain influence over this person their energy might be affecting this connection can be mm -hmm. well this person is thinking about you Scorpio because we have your energy you might be dealing with another Scorpio we also have Pisces uh, whatever happened here between the two of you this person feels very very lonely it might be a case that there is no you have you having a quiet days you know you are not on the speaking terms at the moment and they feel like things are over this is someone who doesn't want that situation to be over between the two of you they want to bring more stability to the situation but it feels like this person is somehow obliged to take care of another individual or taking care of another individual in a sense of supporting them maybe financially with this king of pentacles again this is this this can be yeah because look we have a six of pentacles you might be feeling Scorpio that this person is giving at the same time to another situation but pentacles rep can represent like a financial situation so you have someone here who might again have that responsibility always obliged to uh, support someone financially and I'm getting here strong feminine energy it again it can be I'm getting it a bit older so for a lot of you it is like a relative or family member but this person also kind of is it's getting involved in that situ in this connection or you might get that feeling or for some of you this is an ex but this person doesn't have any feelings for this ex I can reassure you with that because I don't see here any feelings for this ex at all Show me Scorpio's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please. Judgment. King of Wands. You might be dealing with another Scorpio indeed. Knight of Cups. Three of Swords, Page of Wands, Seven of Cups. What I am getting here very strongly with the Judgment and King of Wands to the knight of cups is that you want this person to apologize it's like you feel that this person really owes you an apology for what they put you through you're manifesting this that will happen three of swords suggests that this person really disappointed you on emotional level they really did for some of you this is someone who broke your heart 
and it's all due to those kind of seven of cups disconnections um, them you know being in touch here with many other people and it's like all those things are far more you might be feeling like all those things are far more important than me and this connection because this is like a message messenger with the page of pen page of wands excuse me so i feel that this person uh, kind of what has been receiving so many messages from other people or from that feminine energy and it's like they really kind of made you feel that you are an option not a priority and that really broke your heart and with the judgment with the king of wands and the knight of cups i feel that you coming from the place i really want this person to apologize to recognize that the state of affairs between the two of us is is the result of their action that's the consequences of their actions mm -hmm. you might be dealing a scorpio with another scorpio i also have <coughs> excuse me virgo gemini and uh aries however you manifesting that apology with the magician <coughs> this person is going to reach out and they will ask for to, to be given a chance you might be dealing with divine masculine or you are divine masculine scorpio please take it how it resonates but i feel that you know here is the thing it's like i feel that you do have feelings for this person but with the five of cups that situation doesn't make you happy and this person really disappointed you because you thought that they are serious that they are taking this connection very seriously and it's like i feel that you are disappointed that they got involved in some sort of kind of intrigue or kind of i feel that you are in general very disappointed with them that they got influence here by someone else or it's like this person still holds an influence over them and automatically over this connection and you thought that they are all about stability that they know exactly that they are in control over the situation but something here happened and you've realized that that might not be the case that's why we have a five of cups because that's disappointment and i feel that you are very very uh, at the moment you are not satisfied with it at all Love is still there, yes, absolutely, but it doesn't mean that this whole situation makes you happy. We have a Queen of Swords. I feel that you are open for communication, but this person really needs to make a statement because otherwise you are not interested here in any BS. It's like, I've been there, I've seen it. Queen of Swords, it's a very, very kind of straightforward energy, very assertive energy. It's like, listen, this is what it is. And are you going to do something with it? or not you just have to give me the answer about this because queen of swords demand respect absolutely nevertheless with the nine of cups my dear scorpio you will get what you want you will get what you want this is a this is a card that represents uh this is a wish card which indeed <laughs> represents fulfillment personal satisfaction happiness and joy so you will get what you want from that situation therefore it feels that this 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 whole matter will be handled to your own satisfaction mm -hmm. show me please the outcome show me the outcome Show me the outcome. Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. 
Scorpio, you might be dealing, because I have very strong uh, air energy, so you might be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Four of Cups. Queen of Swords. Well, this person... Here's the thing. This is someone who really respects your intellect. They found you incredibly in intelligent, you know. And they're coming here with this offer of communication. They want to talk about the situation. At the moment with the Ten of Swords, you might feel like it's done, but things has to change. But I feel like as it is a mutual energy, when it comes to you, I feel that you are kind of, you really, this person really lets you down. That's what I am getting. And it's like, I need to really kind of surrender to the circumstances just in case if this person is unable to kind of uh, put a certain demarcation, if I can say that's that way, or kind of like a line or barrier and distinguish that situation from our relationship. If this person is unable to do, then this is what it is. This is also someone here who is surrendering to the circumstances with regards to their own feelings. Because this person is coming into realization that they are missing you, that they don't want things to be over between the two of you. But in order to change it, they need to adapt. Uh, they need to adapt. And it's like this person knows that if they care about this connection and if it's important for them, they need to seriously uh, kind of resolve this situation or put a very strong and healthy boundaries regarding that feminine energy that gets involved or holds a certain influence over them. But, in, but with the Ten of Swords, it wouldn't surprise me here, Scorpio, if you might feel that at the moment things are quite over between the two of you. At the moment because you know at least this person will come here with some sort of reassurance that things going to change final card we have a seven of swords it's I, I you don't trust this person that's the thing it's like you they might come uh, what I am getting here is that it's quite difficult energy because I feel that you kind of see them as someone who's been too faced they were telling you something else they were trying to reassure you about something but they were acting behind your back in a completely different way and I'm and you might kind of see them as someone who is sneaky who is manipulative who is very skillful with their words but they they weren't fully transparent here regarding a certain situation that's why they are facing consequences at the moment of their own actions uh, I feel that it will be quite difficult for them to gain your trust I'm going to be honest with you uh, but you're manifesting them coming forward here and apologizing so it purely depends on you if you really believe their apology four of cups as an overall energy suggests that at the moment I don't feel that you are, I feel that you are kind of, for some of you, you might not even wanting to talk to them because that's a card of rejection. And it's like, they want to come with an offer with this Ace of Cups, but you might feel, well, that's not good enough. Because who knows, maybe you are in an ongoing situation that, you know, it's been like years. Everything depends on your personal circumstances. And it's like you have enough. You just have enough. You care about them. You want to be with them. But it's too difficult. It's too complicated. And the thing is that this person has to really find the way to, to start putting very strong and healthy boundaries in order to distinguish those two different connections 
or situations. And it's their own doing here. This is someone who's facing consequences. They are missing you. They are realizing that they need to, that the approach has to change. They coming, they will come here with an energy. Could you please give us a chance? Can we start over? They're going to apologize. And I feel that, you know, it's like you might feel, yeah, but it's not good enough with the four of four of cups and the other thing is here Scorpio that this whole situation doesn't make you happy that's the major energy when it comes to this four of cups it's just something here is not good enough and you've been trying very hard to make this whole situation better being very supportive loving towards this person but again it's like it wasn't working well Oh, it hasn't been working well. Four of Cups here suggests that something is not working and you are not fully happy with the circumstances. That's why it has to change. This person will apologize. They will apologize. They are coming here with... with they want to talk. They want to talk about that Ten of Swords it might be a case that something here ended between the two of you at the moment. I don't see it as a permanent, you know, ending. No, it's just you might be not on the speaking terms. But, you know, it doesn't change the fact that this person, you might feel that they betrayed your trust. And you just have enough because they haven't been fully transparent. And, you know, they might say, well, my intentions were fine and well and I really wanted best. Yeah, well, hell, it's paved by good intentions, right? So, it depends on you, Scorpio, you know. I feel that for a lot of you with the Seven of Swords, you don't trust them. Uh, you're kind of aware that the situation might repeat itself again. I feel that if you... If this person is willing to prove it to you that indeed they're going and you will see that proof that they are really working on the situation and they are putting that healthy boundaries regarding that dynamic with that situation yeah absolutely I feel that you might be willing to give them a chance but this is someone here who really truly needs to gain your trust first and um, because I've, I'm getting here that the situation has been that you was it's like you was that you've been stuck in that situation for some time, and you are having enough. You just have enough. Because it's always something else than this connection. It feels at least like this, and this person really needs to ask themselves a the question: What is important? What is the priority for them? And find the balance in this situation. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me and for your support. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.